Manchester United conceding from a set piece. Haven't seen that much this season, have we? Completely and utterly changing what my match reaction was going to be, what your feelings are about that match, because prior to that, it was Manchester United with a 1-0 win against AC Milan, thanks to a wonderful Diallo goal, and he should be about, the head, all of the headlines should be about Diallo, a sensational goal. But they won't be now. Dean Henderson's going to get questioned, because that was an awful attempt at a save. Manchester United and Solskjaer are going to be questioned, because we were in control in that second half, and Solskjaer made defensive substitutions to trust his defence, which had given United four or five clean sheets in a row. But we crumbled. We crumbled. And those misses by Harry Maguire and Dan James, it looked like we might be able to laugh that off because of how wonderful that goal from Diallo was. But instead, it now haunts us. And we now go to the San Siro next week as underdogs. Given our away record, maybe not. But AC Milan have got the away goal there. That was crucial for them in that game, and. United, man. After the City game, it kind of seems like we do that a lot this season, by the way. When we have a big wing in a game like that, the, the game that follows seems that we just it drops off the cliff again. But that first 45 minutes was woeful from United. We didn't play through Fernandez at all. I, I just we, we seemed to play around him. I didn't really understand what we were doing and we had no threat from it. They had a goal rightly ruled out for offside. They had a goal rightly ruled out for handball, though Robbie Savage was trying to suggest that it didn't hit his arm, having watched a video of it hitting his arm. But United, I think, were fortunate to go in 0-0 at half-time, and then Martial came off injured, and then without Cavani in the team, without Rashford in the team, without Martial in the team, Amadiala was given his opportunity from the bench, and my God, did he deliver. That pass from Bruno Fernandes, the game changed in the second half because we started to play through Bruno, Instead of playing through McTominay and Matic, who, by the way, are terrible as a partnership together, just stop doing it. I don't, want to see, I don't really want to see Matic play. Anything with Matic is bad in midfield. But United started to get control in that second half. The football tempo and the pace of the game increased. And then Diallo came up with the moment of quality and the moment of magic. Jesus, man. You know, I, I, I personally think that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has managed him well in terms of easing him into the team. I think he probably wouldn't have come on there if Martial didn't get injured, but it was an opportunity a bit like when Martial got injured and Rashford came on against Midtjylland. It wouldn't have been expected, but that was the platform. Was that the platform there for Diallo? It was brilliant. And I liked how he was tracking back and helping Eric Bailly as well, down at the right, the right corner flag. But you can't really focus on the positives of that now because of the negatives that's going to come, the huge negatives that's going to come from the fact that we can see that late, late, Equaliser from a set piece as well. Jesus, man, I hate set pieces. I hate set pieces. I really do. And if it's not, if and Henderson himself, like for me, that kind of looked like a concentration thing. And you saw against was it Crystal Palace the other week when he kept concentration the whole game. But unfortunately for him, because of the situation that's going on with David de Gea, everything that de Gea does and Henderson does will be hyper scrutinised. There'll be a huge amount of exaggeration going on. And I think the Henderson's done fantastically well so far since coming into the team. And he's getting that run of the opportunity to have a run of games. But with goalkeepers, you make a mistake, you can see the goal. Simple as that. Midfielders and attackers can get away with it sometimes and defenders too. But goalkeepers, if your ball's up, your team likely concedes. And Henderson balls up in the last attack of the game. And that's now going to be the headline. It won't be about Diallo. As I said, it should all be about Diallo, man. Star is born. So happy for the lad. Let's focus on the positives of that, really. I'm so happy for Diallo to have done that. It would have meant the world to him. But what a fit. I'm not sure I've seen a better goal from United. That's right up there with our, you know, the counter-attacking goals that we've been scoring. Ooh, just the quality, the awareness, the ability to do that, both from Bruno Fernandes and from Amber Diallo, was absolutely unreal. But unfortunately, the headlines are not about Diallo and they're not about Bruno Fernandes and they're about Manchester United and our inability to see out that game because those two big chances from Maguire... How in God's green earth did Maguire miss that chance? I do not care if Donnarumma got a touch on it. It's still more than enough time for Harry Maguire just to literally put something in front of it. He got the whole goal. Harder to miss. It really was harder to miss. No idea how he missed that. 
And Dan James as well. I think Graham Green would look so much better when he was more, more through the middle. I think he looks more comfortable. I think that's his natural position, personally. But he's probably our best... What is he our best right-wing option? Now that Amadiallo's done that, maybe he gets into the team. But Greenwood was much better through the middle and Dan James should have scored from the opportunity that came across to him. I think defensively, as a unit for the whole game, apart from... Not the whole game, we have our moments and AC Milan was certainly dangerous. But defensively, we've seen better. We do seem better. But then we go and do that. From a set piece, right at the end. And it just it undoes the work that's gone in. And now ultimately, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's decision to switch. Because by the end of the game, we had Shaw on the pitch, Tellers on the pitch, Williams on the pitch, McTominay on the pitch, Matic on the pitch, and Fred on the pitch. There's six players. Six. Obviously, we have Maguire and Bai. So that's eight defensively, really defensively minded players on that pitch towards the end of that game. And it backfired because we didn't keep the clean sheet. Had we kept the clean sheet, it would have been a tactical decision which paid off. But instead, it leaves Solskjaer with, with egg on his face. Could he, did he have any attackers to bring on? I don't know who else was on the bench, but it's just, it pisses me off to see United repeating that. I don't begrudge anybody or anything making a mistake in life. That's how you learn. That's how you progress as a human. Make the same mistake... 14 times in a season, something's wrong. We need defensive coaching. It's clear. I don't know what we're doing. To just to keep repeating it. And De Henderson feels sorry for the lad, but he's made a mistake. He's made a big mistake there, and it's ultimately cost us two points. Not two points. Well, it's cost us a very important goal in this tie, and it's now all set up to be an excellent game next week. I thought AC Milan, all credit to them, were a very good team tonight. They in midfield, I think, was it Kessier? It's Kessie? He was great. The sort of midfielder that we do not have at this football club. And the one that sort that I want to see signed in the summer. But I'm just, I think I'm pissed off with the fact that Amadiallo's had those headlines taken away from him because we are crap at defending set pieces. That's poor from United. We've done it all again. Solskjaer, ultimately, his decision to go defensive backfired. But I understood that decision given that we've kept four clean sheets, five clean sheets in a row going into this game. Of course Solskjaer is going to have faith in his defence to deliver. They didn't. And it's made him look like an idiot. What's your reaction? Let me know in the comments below. But just to see United do it all again, you're idiots, man. You're just idiots. And large parts of that game, we didn't deserve to be in it. But we were in it because of a moment of quality, because of a much improved tempo and pace in that second half, which we then lost when Solskjaer made those subs. Let me know what your reaction is in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. But going into that game in the San Siro next week, it's all open now. It's all to play for. Hopefully United attacking, but with Rashford out injured, Martial out injured, Cavani still out injured. Is Diallo going to start? Who's going to start? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But I hate corners. I really hate corners.